سيتآل لنهائي ربما السؤال الإجابة ستكون في الأيام المقبلة لكن ننتظر هنا التأهل أحد المنتخبين أوباما والهدف الأول الهدف الأول للمنتخب الكابوني عن طريق اللاعب مورونكا القيادة الكابونية من المنصة الشرفية لملعب الصداقة سنتابع اللقطة سنتابع المجهود الكبير لأوبا مايون الهداف يهندس العملية ينطلق أدما يرفع كرة وممكن التعديل في هذه اللحظة نعم يأتي هدف التعادل يأتي هدف التعادل لمصلحة المنتخب الماني مجهود كبير قام به دابورا في الجهة اليسرى حضر كرة العرضية وكياباتي استغل هوة دفاعية ليفاجئ الحارس ايفون ديدي واحد 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 لاحظوا هنا التحضير من موتيبو والهداف كياباتي اللاعب البديل يمنح التعديل لمصلحة المنتخب الماني وسط أربعة لاعبين التمويه كان حاضر واللمسة كانت حاضرة دياباتي يعيد المباراة لنقطة الصفر دياباتي يعيد المباراة لنقطة الصفر ثلاث لاعبين ساهموا في هذه الهجمة تامبورا الدائرة الأيسر موتي بومايكا حضرها بالراس ودياباتي موت بشكل ممتاز وفاجئ الحارس إيفان فيديا I know it's cynical, I know it's horrible, but you would be trying every single little last thing as a goalkeeper. Time wasting, play on every si little bit of mental fragility there might be in any player. Look into the eyes, does he look confident? There's Diabate, player who scored the equaliser, and he tucks away his penalty. Never convinced about players who take two strides. And he goes the right way as well. Well, he wasn't a far from Getting a hand on that. It's a good job he got power in it because that's what took it past the goalkeeper. He should never miss, should you? But the pressure, and the agility of goalkeepers. Well, nothing they can do now, the coaches. And Banagoye, the hero, against Morocco. With that winner seven minutes into stoppage time. The second penalty for Gabon. And he scores. What a good penalty that was. Hired away from the goalkeeper. I was worried, you know, when it left his boots. But it found the back of the net from Mbanagoye. And it is 2 1 Gabon. Well, they've shown none of the nerve so far. Roof that of the is net. Slotted up into the stanchion. Oh, great. No, I mean, it was a fantastic side foot. Very casual run up. Takes the salute of the home fans and piles the pressure on this man. Let about it. The set piece expert strolls forwards. Well, we did question whether or not he would take a penalty. This could end up in Rosette. Can he get this one right? Yet about it. He does. Well, again, Avono gets right. But Yatabare has beaten him and it's 2-2 and neither side has flinched so far. Good penalty. Always think it's the right footer when you're whipping across the ball into that bottom left-hand corner. It gives you a better chance. So even if you miss, slightly misjudge it, the ball's getting taken away from the goalkeeper. As we've seen there, he's guessed right twice and not actually being able to get a touch on the ball. number three for Gabon of course the pressure rises when everybody keeps scoring tucked away though now yeah, Malungui he thought his goal had possibly won it for Gabon scores his penalty and it is 3-2 for Gabon and dear Kite hasn't gone the right way for a single one of these yet all three very good very comfortable penalties did I mention that I was going for Mali? Because I might just change, because they've been excellent so far, the ball. Yeah, they certainly have. So no sign of nerves whatsoever. Fantastic technique for all three penalties. When they lost in 96, Gabon, they only took three because they missed the first two and lost the penalty shootout 4-1. Tunisia scored all of theirs, so it's already an improvement on that.
that's what I was basing my decision upon. Pressure very much back on Mali. Avono has gone close previously, but not this time. It's 3-3, tucked away by Conte. And for the third time in succession, Avono has guessed right. He has centre-half taking some responsibility. Curls it with his left foot into the corner. Good technique. Pierre Aubameyang is stepping up for this one. Now, these are the players I always worry about. <laughs> the ones that you, you don't expect to miss, so often do. And slightly flamboyant as well. Yeah, and likely to go for the one-step chip or something. And sometimes just the brute and brawl. And th these are the ones, as I say, you should work on, I think, as a goalkeeper. A nervy smile from Aubameyang. Hesitant run up and it's been saved! Well, didn't you just know it? Aubameyang, who scored in every game of the group stages, hit the post in the 90 minutes, and a rather nonchalant penalty has been saved. It is advantage Marley. If you're putting in a step, you haven't made your mind up, and all they always say, don't change your mind. It takes a really cool customer to watch the goalkeeper dive and then be sharp enough to put the ball the other way. There's no power in it. I mentioned about having to open your body up. It's a poor penalty, Ikite, the first time he goes the right way. Well, you have to feel for Robert but there has to be a villain and a hero. It's just the way that penalty shootouts are. This is Tro back a Traore takes a step, but thunders it into the top corner. And it is 4-3 for Mali. And they are almost through. Mali have uh, Gabon rather have to score the next penalty, or Mali are in the semi-finals, and Gabon for the second time in their history will go out in the quarter-finals in a penalty shootout. Now this is Bruno Aquile Manga. Has to score. Well, Gabon are out, the dream is over, and it will be a West African derby in the semi-final. Oh, goodness me! Penenka penalty in that situation. That is remarkable from Aquile Manga. And Gunnar Roa must have been having kittens down there. I just don't see the point in it. I really don't see the point. Even when it's executed, I do not see the point. Only asking for trouble. I know it's all about it just hitting the back of the net. Well, if there's a man who should be able to cope with the pressure, it's this man. He should have the technique to cope as well. Maybe no better man in this situation. And then what were we saying when Aubameyang stepped up to take his? So often it is those that you don't expect who flinch. If Cater scores, Mali are through to the semi-finals for the fifth time. Can he do it? He can! Slotted in by Seydou Keita. The dream is over for Gabon. Beaten in the quarterfinals on penalties again. And Mali keep up this extraordinary record in the Africa Cup of Nations and reach the semi-finals for the fifth time in only their seventh appearance in the competition. A faultless penalty shootout from Mali in which they have scored all five. And it is Pierre Aubameyang who is crestfallen and in tears. The player who was the star of their group stage victories becomes the villain here as the only player to miss. And it is Mali who are through to the semi-finals. But Matt, really, they could have tossed a coin for it. It was that close. It was nothing to separate them at all. And I just thought the nerves might come into it in the penalty shootout. And the technique and experience of some of those Mali players, some great penalties. I thought the young players who stepped up for the bomb were excellent to set the tone with the first three penalties. And Cater's penalty is fantastic at the end. It's all about technique. He's been a star over the years. He's played in big games. He's won big trophies. And he's done his country proud here tonight. Well, there will not be a host nation success because in the space of 48 hours, both Equatorial Guinea and Gabon have gone out. But it is Mali once again through to the semi-finals. It is an extraordinary record. And, well, that is not nice to see. Pierre Aubameyang, who's had a, a wonderful tournament to remember, but unfortunately 